Hey everyone, this is a follow-up video to the video I put out a few months ago concerning the oil pressure problem that I had on my Audi A4 B8. It had low oil pressure at idle and in that video I discussed what the problem was and to recap um, this piston here is stuck in the low pressure mode and you can see inside this is a two-stage pump and it's uh, in the low pressure mode right now and it's stuck in that in that uh, in that mode so the N428 valve has no effect because this is supposed to go back to the high pressure mode as the default mode and it's not and my theory is that there's something that's preventing this from coming back out and it could be the uh, spring that's back here or something keeping it from coming back like some particle or something i think that's my guess but we'll see what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off these bolts here and we're gonna see what's in there and hopefully there's gonna be a reason for why this pump failed. I replaced this one with a new pump and all my oil pressure issues were solved. So let's take this thing apart. All right, hopefully I can do this uh, with the camera mounted on a tripod and it'll show what's going on. So we got our Torx bit here and of course that's in the way and that's in the way and that's in the way so i'll get an extension I don't know how much pressure there's supposed to be on this, but I'll just take them out and leave a couple in. And as I said before, this is a two-stage oil pump, so the default mode is high pressure. And then the N428 valve, when it's energized for the low pressure, it moves this, it sends oil into these channels here, and this piston moves back and forth in here with oil on this side or this side. And then there's also a spring in here. Hopefully this thing doesn't come shooting out at me. One more here. Okay, all of those are out. Okay, let's see what we get. So here's a spring and ball here. And so here's the one rotor and then so far and as you can see this one is stuck in and it's not coming back so let's see if we can pull on it and that is in there really good so I'm gonna try and get a uh, some pliers and pull on that be right back all right we're back we're back with some channel locks here and since I'm not gonna be using this pump I'm gonna just try and see if I can loosen this 
kept it moving. It's really scratchy, really tight. Um, not sure, don't see anything yet. Okay, here's the spring, so why did it not come back? I mean, there's some junk, plastic junk there that fell out from this side. I don't know. What do you see? I don't see anything crazy. I guess that looks scored right there. I don't know if you can see that. Right in the middle. So spring's not broken and there isn't any doesn't appear to be anything that was holding it in it feels really gritty right here so maybe it just got some yeah, there's definitely some grit on this. So some crap got in here and made it really tight. Yeah, that, that doesn't move smooth at all. See, it's already stuck. That ain't coming, that ain't coming out. So I think the big reason that this thing was stuck is that it has a lot of grit. So st somehow something got in there to contaminate it, scored the inside here and made this get stuck. So the spring definitely is not that strong to push this thing back and that's one of the improvements that they made is a bigger spring but this thing should not uh, get stuck let's put it back together show you what it's supposed to look like Now it's stuck in here. It's stuck in here too. Maybe that was the whole deal. We've got some serious stuckage here. So that's how it's supposed to be when it's right in the stock or default mode. This button is supposed to be out. And when we started this, it was in like this. It didn't even move. The more I mess with it, the more it's moving. So maybe we can, I guess I was gonna try and put it back together and see if 
to get it to Oh, so it's it's loosened up a little. So that's what uh, that's what you want to if you wanted to know what was inside this two-stage pump, Audi two-stage pump, that's what's in there. This one was the original pump and it has seen better days so that's why you should be doing your oil changes keeping all that crap out of your oiling system and preventing these kind of things from happening okay Okay, last one. together and this is the oil channels in here that the N428 controls which side the oil goes and this goes back and forth and as you can see now as you saw before it was stuck in I'll look at it now so the spring wasn't broken but all that scoring and gunk some kind of gunk was in there that was totally preventing it from moving. But you can see, that's how it's supposed to look. It's definitely loose now. Low pressure, high pressure. Low pressure, high pressure. All right. That's it. Thanks, and come back and subscribe to my channel. And I've got all kinds of stuff, Christian concerts, and some Audi stuff. I've got a video on uh, doing the um, puddle lights on this B5, which don't, doesn't have them and then I've got this B8 here and then this is the car that had the oil pressure issue and I've done all kinds of things to this it was sitting for a while and now it's driving great and I got a really good deal on it like and subscribe